all right guys you're welcome to swift studios sorry i'm a little bit stressed uh, i'm standing on my face but i just quickly had to do this because of you guys somebody asked this question that how do i export revit file into autocad so that i can do my detailing now me the way i do my detailing by the time i finish my 3d i usually take it to autocad because i believe autocad is faster for me uh, some people make use of revit some people make use of uh archicad to do their detailing but to me revit is not fast to do detailing when it comes to 2d detailing but it can give you perfect 3d it can give you elevation very fast you know it can give you your floor plan very very fast but if you want to do your to finish your working drawing it is autocad that is the master so without wasting much of your time let's dive into that now i want you to know that what i have here some uh this is a 2d plan that was given to me in autocad so i imported it into revit the same way we can import autocad into revit we can also export revit file to become autocad uh, either 2d or 3d now what i need is i need the 2ds for the working drawing now i have some elements disturbing me so that's the ones i brought in i want to hide them so that they don't show in my export i i could delete them if i want but i don't want to delete them because i want to show you something that will happen if you don't delete them so what i'll do is i'll just select this i'll say hide elements so i just have what i have what well, i just have the ground floor plan you know do i have other plans if i select the level two i'll see them here now in this level two also this is showing so let me go to level one so i'll come to file come to export then move up to card formats i'll select dwg which is the native language of autocad now there's one setting you need to do here of which if you don't do that setting if you export to autocad you find some you, you find it being colored you know which you don't want you want your drawing to be in black and white while in your autocad so come to color here by default it will be here I was one that changed it by default to be here, but this is what you want specified in object styles. This is where it should be. Okay, if you want it to give you in black and white, then you select this. If not, by the time you export it to AutoCAD and you are seeing color, different colors, you have issues trying to edit them because they will be in block. Except you are very, very good AutoCAD. That's when you'll be able to edit them. Then I'll click on next now i'll just call it ground ground f for the purpose of vector now another thing is it's trying to save it for me that's files of type it's trying to save it as the 2018 model so depending on the version of autocad you have now i like to downgrade it uh, to maybe 2007 or 2013 as the case may be you know in case i want to open it with autocad 2007 so that i have access to it though i'm using 2017 and 2022 so i'll now the next thing i'll do is uh i'll say okay now you see this information here is very important what this information here is saying is do you want to export do you want to leave what you have hidden do you want it to show why you export it now you say leave temporary uh, hide isolate mode you understand so if you select this that which you have hidden will not show in what you have exported if not if you select this first one what you have hidden will still show in your 2d that's in your dwg autocad file so i'll select this leave okay so now it will boot and save so i'll quickly come to autocad which i've already opened i have to do it because i don't want to waste your time then i'll say open file I'll quickly go to where I save it so you can see it, ground F. So I'll just open it. So what I have is just my ground floor plan. Now, because the reason why I'm having this hash here is because I actually did the floor. Let me show you here. The, if you look at the floor, is having this uh, hash already. This hash is not actually this color that I, I that I applied. The styles. 
uh, you know, let me show you, it's not on this side, it's on the other side. So it was the ties that I applied, if you look at this very well, it was the ties that I applied on the ground floor. So that's why you're having it. So I don't need it here, I'm just going to select and uh, erase. So in AutoCAD, you can now start applying your different uh, dimension, then you create your title block, all these are having other videos that I've created so that's how to export your work from Revit into AutoCAD then you start your working drawing. Alright guys I'll see you in the next class. My name is King James. You're welcome to Swear Forms.